Hello, this is Scott. So, continuing on with our R and R Studio series, specifically forecasting and time series in R. Um, last time we, we covered a very powerful function, um, the ETS function, um, and, and this is all part of exponential smoothing within within R. Um, this time we're going to talk about forecasting, and next time we'll be talking about an introduction into ARIMA. Just to note, if you remember last time, this ETS function doesn't provide the forecast. It just provides the, mod the estimation of the models themselves. To and today, we're going to actually use the forecast function um, to create uh, both point and uh, prediction intervals. So if we go straight into our studio um, here, remember this this library is the uh, I'm sorry, this FPP2 library is uh, what we've been uh, using. Um, so, okay. And then the, if you remember last time, let me just, uh, we need to go ahead and estimate the, the models from last time. So hopefully you joined. And uh, this was the, the models that we actually created into this fit uh, variable here. And um, then what we want to do is we want to forecast. But a couple of quick comments before we do that, um, just so that you know. So the, the, the point forecast obtained from uh, this essentially are going to be the it's going to be the median because we're we've got a normal distribution model and that the median is equal to the mean, um, obviously in the normal distribution and um, but for multiplicative errors uh, or with multiplicative seasonality, the point forecasts are not equal to the means um, here. And we're going to use this, again, we're going to use this forecast function. So what does that look like? Um, essentially, it's going to be here. All right. So we're using this fit and piping into um, the forecast function um, in R and uh, creating the forecast itself. So let me go and show you that, what that looks like. And here's the estimate. And by default, you get the 80% uh, and 95% uh, prediction interval within, within R. Um, so big advantage here is that uh, we, can, we can generate these, these prediction intervals themselves. Um, using this forecast command. Also, just to let you know, just to look at the, the full command itself and make a couple of just brief comments. And obviously you can get this, uh, a lot of detail in the FTP2 package, but um, you know, the, the object is what we're passing in here, which would be fit. Um, you know, the confidence level for the, the prediction intervals here, by default, it's 80, like we did 80 and 95 percent. Um, there are a couple other estimates. Um, you know, prediction interval equal true if you actually want that. Uh, simulate uh, the prediction intervals are produced by simulation rather than just the you know the algebraic uh, formulas for that. Um, what else? Uh, fan. Um, if it's true, um, so you, you can use fan plots um, here. We didn't do that. It's not done by default. Uh, and then we talked about lambda last time or time before. That's essentially the box Cox transformation parameter. So if it's null, it's ignored. Um, but otherwise, it's the series is back transformed um, using the box Cox transformation. And uh, anyway, you can check into that. So next time, again, we'll be talking about uh, ARIMA. Hopefully this was, was useful and look forward to seeing you next time.